Hey YouTube, what's up? You're watching Concealed Steel. Today, we've got the LaRue MBT Straight Bow Trigger for review. So before we get started, please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, comment, thumbs up, click the little bell icon if you subscribe, because it really helps the channel out. And without further ado, let's get started. LaRue MBT 2S Straight Bow Trigger. Today I'm going to talk about the reliability, the feel, the pull weight, uh, the construction, and the reset. First off, start with reliability because in my opinion that's the most important quality of any piece of gear or kit you put on your, on your weapon system. Uh, nothing to report, 100% reliable. I think it's the same exact trigger as the MBT 2S, but a straight bow. So I expect its reliability is going to be on par with the other newer triggers, which is fantastic. So win there. Feel. Feel, uh, this is my first straight bow trigger and it's definitely, it definitely feels different the second you put your hand on the gun, but it, I really dig it. I'm kind of upset LaRue had to go and do this because now I might have to buy several more of them. It just, it feels, the edges don't feel sharp to me. I. I just think it's it feels fantastic. For me and my buddy that I shot with this weekend, we had the same consensus on it. He initially looked at it just like I did and thought, ah, it looked kind of hipster, straight trigger, but I'm not sure I'm gonna like it. But as soon as we both got to shooting it, we both truly fell in love with it. It just, it feels great under the finger and shoots really well. Uh, reset. Reset is the same as the regular MBT. And additionally, so I've got a comparison video for Two different Geisley triggers, the SSA, the SSA-E, and the LaRue MBT-2S. I will put a link in the description of the video so you can click on that link. Or at the end of this video, I'll put an end screen with that video there so you can go right to it if you want to see the comparison between those other two triggers and the LaRue. So these are basically the same, but with a straight bow, this and the MBT-2S. Uh, so the reset, the reset is on par with the MBT-2S. Uh, as you can see, I'm rolling in some footage right now where I'm slowly letting the reset out. I've got a close-up. Um, you can see it's it's on par with Geisley triggers. It's about the same distance. I didn't pull calipers out, but it feels it feels the same to me. I'm not I'm not big on splitting hairs between super small measurements and the distance of the reset. It's a combat trigger, so don't really care. It feels if it doesn't feel like a long reset. The reset's very positive. It's very tactile and it, it lets you know that the trigger just reset. It forces your finger back forward on the reset, which I'm a big fan of. I got my Lyman digital trigger pull gauge out and did some did some pull weights on this trigger. And it turns out, so this it works the same kind of with any trigger. If you depending on the height your finger is on the trigger bow, there's gonna be a different level of resistance that causes this the trigger to break. For instance, it's just like a lever, basically. The farther you are away from the fulcrum on a lever, the more force you have to, to push on the lever and to get the trigger to break. So farther down on the bow, less, less weight to break the trigger. What I was able to, what I did was I pulled five on the top, five in the middle, and then five on the bottom of the trigger bow. And what I, what I read was, at the bottom, I read a, a close average. So all of these we're within one to two ounces of each other or three ounces of each other between the five trigger pulls on each spot. So accurate, accurate tests. On the bottom of the trigger, I had an average of two pounds, 10 ounces. If you, if I put the trigger pull gauge right on the bottom of the trigger bow right here. In the middle of the trigger bow, I had an average of 3.6 ounces. Sorry, three pounds, six ounces. And on the top of the trigger bow, I had an average of four pounds, seven ounces. Again, all three of those are really tight groups, so I, they're pretty accurate numbers, which is pretty interesting. Where you put your finger on the trigger leads to a different pull weight. Construction. These are made of really good steel. S7 tool steel, I think LaRue claims on their website. So that's fantastic steel, high quality, high quality construction, great build quality. Everything fit right in, dropped right in, pins pushed right in, pushed right out. It was. It was super easy to install. And my thoughts on this trigger. Me and my friend that were shooting together on Saturday both fell in love with it instantly. 
I was a little skeptical at first. I wanted to try it just because I know the I know the quality of the LaRue trigger. For that price, you can't really beat it. So I wanted to get a straight bow and try it out. And it turns out I think it's fantastic. I'm fighting the urge right now to buy a bunch of them for all my different ARs. I, I want to kind of keep a, a plethora of different triggers in there so I can really get to learn each one of them for years and years and years and then I can really decide what I like, I guess. I don't know. But like I said, huge fan. I fell in love with it instantly. So did my buddy. And for a hundred dollars, you really can't beat it. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for viewing my video. Make sure you don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Again, I'll put a link in the description to my comparison video with the MBT2S and the other Geisley triggers that I have. Um, again, thanks for coming by. Have a nice day.